Hey guys, Hayden here again from Alarm System Store, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get signed up for Alarm.com service through our website. Um, so uh, it's a very simple process, and nine times out of ten, we can get you activated same day, unless there's uh, some sort of issues or you the uh, activation form comes in extremely late. Um, we will have your alarm.com service up and going same day. Um, Central Station is another matter. Central Station is a separate activation. Um, that one can take up to two business days, uh, possibly three worst case scenario. But alarm.com is very quick. Um, so if you're wanting it, hop on over. All you got to do is purchase it and then you'll get emails with instructions that I'm going to go over here in a minute and uh, we can get you going Anyway, uh, so just to simulate an order, I have an alarm.com video service here added. That's the video with analytics plan. And then I also have the residential interactive service. So you guys know how to check out on online stores, so I'm not gonna go over that, but basically just go ahead and make your purchase. Once you get checked out, um, basically all you're gonna do is go check your email. You're gonna have a receipt of purchase and you're also gonna have activation emails depending on how many services you purchased. Um, so I'm gonna hop over and show you those. So once you guys have checked your email, you will be uh, looking for two emails such as this. I don't have a receipt because I didn't actually make a purchase, but um, right before that you should have a um, order receipt there. Um, but basically you're going to look for these two, alarm.com service order instructions and alarm.com video service. Um, so just to show you what they say, go ahead and click on it. Um, this is for the interactive residential plan and each one has its own instructions. So. Uh, for communicators, um, there are instructions down here that show how to hook up uh, the service for each panel. But the main thing you need to keep an eye out for is this link right here. This is an activation form, and when you click on this, it is going to bring up a page on our website. Once you get to this form, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory, um, but just want to go over it real quick. Uh, first section, order number the service was purchased on, so you'll refer back to that receipt that you got, and it will have an order number starting with the letter S, as in Sierra. Um, so it'll be S plus five numbers. Um, your first and last name, email, and then phone number. This first box is area code, and the second box is phone number. Um, so it'll be three digit area code and then the additional seven digits for your phone number um, and then the address where the equipment's going to be installed. So wherever that communicator is located, that address needs to go here. If your billing method or your billing address, I'm sorry, is located uh, at another address, then you will fill this out with the billing information for the card you are going to use. Um, the uh, make and model of the alarm system, uh, so DSC, Honeywell, Qualsys, um, whatever it may be, um, the make and model of the alarm.com device to activate. Now this one's not as critical, we can see that with the IMEI number, but it helps us show you where the IMEI number is located if you happen to not be able to find it, um, or if it's wrong whenever uh, it gets sent in. If we know what type of device you have, it makes troubleshooting this form in particular a lot easier. So make and model, DSC, power series, Neo, whatever. And then uh, if you have like a DSC Neo, you will have a TL880. Um, if it's a Honeywell, it'll be an SEM300, uh, etc. Uh, and then you will get the IMEI number of that alarm.com device. Uh, so typically these are located on the device itself or inside the cover on a sticker. Um, usually the sticker is green. Don't quote me on that. Some of them may be different colors, but it is a 15 digit number. Uh, there's no letters, no special characters. It's just 15 numbers in a row. Um, so you'll put that here and then you'll click submit. Once it is submitted, we will receive it and then we will begin the activation as soon as you are queued up. So let's go back to the other email real quick. Um, like I said, don't forget to read the rest of the instructions on this email. Um, let's go to the 
video form real quick. The video form, or I'm sorry, the video email actually does not have a form on it. Um, this one, since it's just an alarm.com video service and you can have cameras wherever you want as long as they're connected to internet, basically you just email this email right here, the uh, customer service email alarms at alarmsystemstore.com. I just give them your order number and let them know that you are ready to activate your alarm.com video service. Now, if you do have both residential and video or commercial and video, whatever it is, if we see both services on the same order, we will activate them both. So basically, um, like in, in this case where we ordered both residential and video, both will be active at the same time. So once you get logged in, you can go ahead and add your cameras. Um, so once that is done, you will actually look for two more emails. Um, they're not going to come as quick as the automated emails. These will be sent once your account is actually active. So um, in this case, uh, we've actually activated an account for our IQ2 Plus panel here. So the first of those two emails is from alarmsystemstore.com. And this one is actually the login email and it has a get started button. Um, we're going to disregard that momentarily because there are instructions in the other email that we need to follow first. This one's going to come from Andy Bowman. Uh, this is your alarm.com activation. Basically, uh, he says, I have activated your alarm.com service. Um, you'll get another email, but right here you will see, make sure you initiate the cellular test in the installer functions of the keypad prior to the get started button. So um, typically depending on what type of alarm system you have, he will give instructions on how to do the system test or the signal test, I'm sorry. So after you've read that and you've sent your cellular test, make sure to read the rest of these emails. All of the information in here is important. So right here it says, please be advised that this activation is for alarm.com service only. So that's what I was talking about earlier. Central station is a separate activation. So when you get this email, this will only be for your alarm.com side. Um, if you have interactive, this is when you can go get logged in. Um, if you just got wireless signal forwarding, you will not receive this email. Um, but uh, once you've done the cellular test, uh, we're going to go click that get started button. Um, make sure right here, if you have a moment, uh, give us a rating. Uh, it helps a lot. Now, I am going to go to our IQ2 Plus and I am going to send that cellular test and then I'll be back to click the get started link and we're going to go ahead and get logged in as if I were you. So I will be right back. All right, so I just finished doing the cellular test on the IQ2 Plus. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and click this get started link right here. So if we click this. Okay, so um, this can also happen if you wait too long to activate or to cl click that get started link. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to alarm.com. Um, you can click their little icon up there in the top left. And basically, it's just going to take you to their homepage and then you can go ahead and click log in. Um, now this is my personal stuff, so we're gonna remove that. Um, and we're going to refer back to this email. And the login name here is, well, for me, it is hey iq 2 plus um, So uh, if we need login help, we're gonna click login help. You can enter that username. So hey, I, well, iq 2 plus click submit. And then you can go check your email and you should have received a password reset. So let's go check email real quick. So we actually got one. See, again, it shows alarmsystemstore.com here in the left. Uh, that's actually from alarm.com, but basically this is our reset password link. Uh, so we're gonna, ahead and, gonna go ahead and click reset password. Um, normally what should have happened when I clicked that get started link is it would just immediately bring you to this page 
and then you would set up your credentials so you would make a password um, etc so uh, right here it's asking you to set up two-factor authentication so this is required nowadays so you can choose one other method to do this with um, the text message is usually the simplest uh, the codes are the shortest and uh, um, everybody's got their phone on them so um, you can do it however you would like I'm gonna go ahead and do email that way I don't have to put my phone number in uh, but basically this is gonna go to whatever email is plugged in here this should be the e well this will be the email that you put on your um, alarm.com form so if we hit send I'm going to get a code to my email and I'm going to go ahead and enter that real quick. I'll be right back. So you should get a six digit code like this. Click verify. Two factor authentication has been enabled successfully. That's what we want to see. So you can trust this device or not, depending on where you are at. If you're on your phone or your home computer, go ahead and click trust. Um, if you're on, if you're somewhere outside of your home uh, on a network that you don't trust, or device you don't trust you can go ahead and click that otherwise click next and then we will actually get the terms of service right here so it's going to give you alarm.com's terms of service this does not apply to central station or any other service that may be associated with your system this is just the terms and conditions for the cellular communicator you have and the alarm.com service that you have um, there is a bunch of different languages here you can choose from so uh, read through that go ahead and click i agree when you're done and then it will ask you to create a password now i'm just going to do a simple one real quick and i did not put a symbol so there we go fair good enough Once of both match, then uh, also if you have to do the password reset uh, option, uh, there is a log out of all devices button right here you can click. So if um, later on you believe something or someone has compromised your account, you can go ahead and log out of all devices and it will do so for you. Um, that's not the case here. We're just trying to get started. So I'm gonna leave that blank and then click save. So then you'll need to ask us or answer a security question. Um, so uh, let's pick one. What? A um, little bit of personal info here. Uh, what street did you live on in third grade? Actually lived on Prairie Stream Way. So click confirm. And then they want to verify your email address for you. So basically you're gonna get a verification email again. So go ahead and click send email. Um, this one, all you need to do is pull up that email and then there's just a verify button right here. So you can go ahead and click that. That verifies your email and tells them you are who you say you are. So. And now we can go ahead and start taking a look at the app itself. So they got little tutorials that pop up here like this constantly. Pretty much everything you do has a tutorial, but that's where we're going to call it for today. Um, I'll be back to explain more about the app itself in later videos. But um, for now, you guys like subscribe, you know the drill, and I will catch you guys on the next one.